All right. Way three out of four of solving quadratics would be by completing the square. Now, normally here when I see this, my first inclination would be, hey, I need to factor this. But I figure out when I mess with things, I can't. There's no factoring this. So how do we complete the square? Well, hopefully you've still got your song sheet from before. You may need to go back, check out DJ Pi again. But remember, when we're solving by completing the square, my first job okay, is to get my x's along. So we're going to minus the 52 to the other side. Then our next step when completing the square is to add a blank to each side. Now, that blank, we're going to calculate that value here in just a sec. That value that we're going to plug in is found by taking our B value, our number in front of the X here. Okay, We're going to have B divided by 2. We're going to square half B. We're going to add it here. We're going to add it there. Just getting the DJ Pi rolling in me today. All right. So what good does that do me? Well, now when I go to make this a binomial square, if I did my side work, that's the number I'm plugging in. X, I'm just doing minus 7. Otherwise, just cut this number in half. They both work. And that becomes a squared. We've talked before about how this foiled out becomes that. The 14 has not disappeared. Negative 52 plus 49 is negative 3, and we are off to the races because now it's like the last example we did, except the parentheses are alone already. So I take my square root, zap those out. Remember over here, it, it, this hasn't changed. Quadratic, two answers. Negative radical pull an eye out. Still wish I could find my eyeball. And again, similar to the last one, that 7 needs to move, but it doesn't get to move with the eye. It gets to hang out okay, in the same building here, but that's it. So really, the only difference between this and when we solved by roots was we have that extra step in here that we've got to do to get to the actual binomial square. All right, three down, one to go.